Balake. Where is Balake at? My name's Blake. What? Do you want to go to war, Balake? I'm thrilled. A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron is right here. Thanks for joining me, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a two-parter today, both of which involve longtime Scientology critic, um, a longtime exposer of Scientology abuse, Mark Bunker, who happens to now be a Clearwater City Council person. But this first story was way before that ever happened. This is an actual attempted kidnapping, or at least what appears to be an attempted kidnapping. Mark told this very brief story on an interview uh, that was just published, or at least this is a segment that was just published on Andrew Gold's channel. So if you're not familiar with Andrew Gold, definitely check out his channel. Listen to this story and tell me if this sounds like an attempted kidnapping to you. Let's check it out. It appeared that there was like a kidnapping attempt on me while I was staying at what? the hotel. I made a video about it. Um, uh, it, it's, uh, it's a weird thing where I, I, I was heading home the next day and I got a call from a guy at the front desk saying, uh, when are you, uh, we understand you're leaving tomorrow. When are you checking out? We'll get a cab for you. And I said, well, that's very nice of you. Know, I'm, I'll be checking out at noon. And uh, hung up and then went, wait a minute. Been here for a few days. I've never seen a guy at the front desk. So I went to the front desk and talked to the woman there. And she said, uh, no, there's no guy who works here. But we did have a guy come down here um, asking what room you were in. And, um, and he said uh, he, he would, uh, you know, uh, he was trying to to talk to me. So they, they found out what room I was in. Um, so I called then the, um, the sheriff, uh, in the middle of the night and explained this. And the sheriff said, okay, well, don't, don't worry. Uh, they came at 11 in the morning and they actually took me in a, uh, their, their car over to the airport. Uh, but weird. And in Clearwater, you can call the police or call the sheriff's department and tell them some odd thing. And if it involves Scientology, they'll go, okay, we understand. Uh, that may just seem bizarre in any other city, but, but here, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Scientology, there may be something to it. Wow. So here's the thing about this. They would not have needed to call Mark's hotel to uh, call him under false pretense in his hotel room to find out when he was leaving, if all they were trying to find out is when his flight was leaving. Like, when was he flying home? Many people don't know this. Scientology owns, through its various shell companies, a travel agency. And through the travel agency, they can look up any flight itinerary for any person in the nationwide database. That's how they're able to follow people around like Mike Rinder, you know, uh, meet him at an airport when he departs, be there at the airport when he lands. It's not because they're just following him around all of the time. It's because they can set up an alert for any time Mike Rinder books a plane ticket, they get an alert. So my point here is that Scientology didn't need to make that phone call if all they were trying to find out is when was his flight leaving. They already knew when his flight was leaving. In fact, that's how they knew to call him the night before and find out when he was planning on checking out. Now, my theory here is that, like, like you go, what would Scientology really have been trying to do that, like actually kidnap him? It would have been more like they would have sent a cab, a fake cab to pick him up. That cab would have then driven to somewhere where an illicit transaction was going down and the cops would have had an advance notice. Someone would have called in an anonymous tip that some type of solicitation or some sort of illicit transaction was occurring at a particular place at a particular time. Then Scientology would have driven Mark Bunker to the area and tried to essentially frame him for something that he could have been charged with or at least arrested with on the spot. That is exactly the kind of thing that Scientology would do. Absolutely unbelievable. Now, the second item that I have is that a handful of Clearwater City officials very soon are gonna be in a position to, if they are willing to cooperate, 
get David Miscavige served in the lawsuits that he has been avoiding service in for years. Here's a news article commenting that Scientology leader evades legal service in Australian trafficking case. Scientology leader David Miscavige has avoided being served with a summons on at least 14 occasions, a U.S. court has been told, as part of a human trafficking case brought by three Australian residents. Now, these former Scientologists, these former Sea Org members are suing Scientology and David Miscavige personally for various labor trafficking allegations. And this case is actually taking place in Tampa, right near where I live. So I'm gonna have the privilege of attending these hearings as they proceed. Now check this out. In a recent Clearwater City Council meeting, Mark Bunker made it clear that David Miscavige is personally getting ready to meet one-on-one -on -one with four of the five Clearwater City Council members. Of course, he's not planning on meeting with Mark Bunker because he's terrified of Mark Bunker. But get this, David Miscavige is avoiding service in a federal lawsuit that is taking place in Tampa, while at the same time is scheduling private one-on-one -on -one meetings with Clearwater City Council members. For those of you who don't know, Clearwater, Florida is only about 20 minutes away from Tampa. So with a little clever cooperation between the attorneys and the police and the city leaders, we might actually be able to see David Miscavige served in person. Let me show you what Mark Bunker had to say at last week's Clearwater City Council meeting about these private meetings. Let's take a look. Now, the exciting news is that Miscavige plans to meet with every one of us on the council to personally lay out his plans for the downtown. Uh, and that's likely to be a rehash of, of what he presented back in 2017 when the council said no thanks. Uh, I'm sorry. Did I say he was meeting with everybody? Oh, oh no, he's not meeting with me. He's meeting with everybody on the council except me. Uh, Miscavige is too frightened to sit in a room with me. The same way he's frightened to come here to the podium and do a presentation for the public. Wow, wow. I mean, I could not imagine being a Clearwater City Council member and knowing that David Miscavige is avoiding service in three different lawsuits and agreeing to schedule a private secret meeting with him, time known beforehand, location known beforehand, and not informing some type of authority to organize how he can be served in these lawsuits. And maybe that's something David Miscavige should consider before scheduling these meetings with the Clearwater City Council members. Don't worry guys, it's not like I'm giving something away. None of these Clearwater City Council members have the balls to actually do what I'm suggesting. However, maybe now that I'm putting the idea into their heads, maybe they will at least, if they don't have the balls to help get Miscavige served, maybe they will at least have the decency not to agree to meet with David Miscavige privately and secretly until he is no longer avoiding service in labor trafficking lawsuits. Maybe the Clearwater City Council members can show some decency and some humanity for the people being abused and victimized in Scientology and not agree to have meetings where David Miscavige is going to forward his agenda of taking over Clearwater. Or if you do agree to have the meetings, at least have someone standing by ready to serve David Miscavige. All right, everyone, that's all I've got on this. Thank you for watching and listening. Thank you to everyone who watches until the very end, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, if you want to see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you want to see a, a different one of my videos, uh, oh, yeah, then you could click right inside here. If you have subscribed or not, subscribe right here. Bye!